Remember when solving a radical equation that you must make sure you check your proposed solutions. You'll see what I mean as we solve this radical equation. It is an equation and it contains a radical. So remember what we want to do? If possible, isolate the radical. And it is possible in this case, here we'll have square root of x is equal to 11 minus 8. And what is 11 minus 8? That is 3. Once you've isolated the radical, if possible, and here it is, then we will square both sides. So we'll square the left side and we'll square the right side. And remember the square root of x squared, that's x, is equal to 3 squared or 9. This is our proposed solution. We need to check that proposed solution and we'll check it in the original equation. So remember our proposed solution, we are checking this proposed solution in the original equation. If x is 9, I would have the square root of 9 plus 8, is that equal to 11? Well, the square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 8 is equal to 11, so it does check and 9 is the solution.